welcome home. It's another what I eat in a day. I feel like I haven't done one of these in a while. Maybe I have. I don't know. I've been making a lot of like real and TikTok what I eat in a day is like smaller and shorter ones. So if you don't already follow me on Instagram slash TikTok, highly recommend. I have been posting so many TikToks lately. Um, but we are back with another what I eat in a day. And I feel like in every single video, I'm always, I always got my hair in a ponytail and I'm always in some sort of like workout outfit because <laughs> I'm just either at the gym or at home. So I'm either in like loungewear or working out and that's my life basically. I feel like I don't leave the house ever. <laughs> like a few weeks ago, James broke our, on an ex, on accident, he accidentally knocked over our French press which was made out of glass and so it shattered and broke and we have yet to get another coffee making apparatus so we have been buying coffee like the past few days he's actually surfing right now and i think i'm gonna make myself a little matcha because i have not had matcha in a while and i have tons of like matcha powders and stuff so i feel like i should probably start using it also i feel like matcha is like when it gets to like summertime i feel like i start tending to go towards more matchas and then towards winter i like gravitate more towards like chai so it's getting a little warmer sorry there's a plane it's gonna be happening a lot you guys i live near an airport now so it's gonna happen in the videos and i'm just gonna have to deal with it five three vibes oh perfect yes it's so funny because i've met a few of you guys or like people who follow me in person before and almost every time people always tell me that i'm shorter in person than they thought i was so i'm just curious like did you guys because I'm 5'3". Did you guys think, like, would you assume that I'm taller based on, like, just, I guess, what you see online? I don't know. It's always interesting because, like, I've met people who I've only ever followed on Instagram. And then, like, when I meet them in person, I'm like, oh, like, they're either, like, taller or shorter. Like, I don't know. It's really hard to tell online, like, how tall someone is. So, yeah. I'm 5'3", for all of you guys who don't know. Which I feel like is relatively short. Definitely on the shorter end of the spectrum. <clears throat> Which I used to hate, but now it's kind of fun. I don't mind it anymore. I used to like really wish I was tall, but someone said I had tall girl energy the other day and I genuinely do not know if that's good or bad. I feel like that's a good thing because I feel like there's the stereotype of like people who are short or more are more like funky. <laughs> Is that the right word? Like, I don't know. Like short guy syndrome, that type of thing. I am going to have some matcha. I actually haven't used this yet, but it's from Gold um, and it's their green tea powder. So I'm going to heat up some water. I finally found my milk froth the other day because I couldn't find it for the life of me. Found it, so yeah. Hey guys, I don't know what it is about drinking my lattes in a wine glass, but try it. It will make you feel sophisticated, fancy, better than everyone. I also feel like everything tastes better out of a wine glass, in my personal opinion. Super good. I just used some almond milk and some vegan creamer. Hey, where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, so for breakfast, we are going to make an English breakfast, minus the beans, because I don't have beans and I don't want beans. So we're gonna do like fried eggs, vegan sausage, tomato, I'm gonna do some potatoes. I got some little red potatoes and then some mushrooms. And of course, I'm going to be using Brightland olive oils. I'm thinking for the potatoes, I'm gonna do the garlic infused olive oil because I'm a big garlic girl. I'm a big garlic girl, like garlic on everything. Like it says one clove, I'm gonna use six, you know what I mean? So, and I love like garlicky potatoes, so I think I'm gonna do a little bit of this. Okay, I'm gonna use the Awake Brightland Olive Oil for the eggs. This one is for cozy days and slow nights. It is definitely a cozy day today. And it also said it's perfect for fried eggs, and that's what we're gonna use it for. Thanks so much to Brightland for sponsoring today's video. Brightland makes delicious, high-quality olive oils made with 100% olives. Unlike many store-bought olive oils, Brightland contains no additives or junk and it's produced with organic methods. I was always weary with past olive oils that I've used when I cook because I know that they can't be used in high heats, but since Brightland is such high quality, it's actually safe to cook with. I love the taste of Brightland and how the different blends can be used for different meals. I personally love using the Awake with pastas, eggs, roasted veggies, because it has such a warm and robust taste that pairs super well with these dishes. And of course, the garlic infused olive oil is delicious. They have a few other flavored olive oils. 
but I wanted to try the garlic one because I am a huge fan of garlic. I try to get as much of it in every single dish as I, as I can. So this oil is perfect for me. I've already used it on pizzas and in my homemade pesto that I make and it is amazing. Using Brightland makes cooking at home more fun because it makes me feel like an actual chef, especially knowing that I'm using such high quality olive oil. Also, I just have to mention how beautiful the bottles are and the design. It's like actually something that I want to display in my kitchen as opposed to wanting to like hide it away in a cupboard. So Brightland has some amazing products and they're actually offering my followers a discount. So click the link in the description to get 10% off. You guys, this is like <laughs> the ideal breakfast. We got tomatoes, mushrooms, potatoes, vegan sausage, eggs, and some spinach for some greens. So, so good. I'm very excited. I might get a little bit of ketchup. Don't judge me for the sausage and the potatoes. I don't know why you would judge me. I feel like that's normal. Okay. Oh! Oh my god. I don't even know where to start, but I don't even know. I think I'm gonna eat the eggs. Try a little bit of the eggs. And I gotta try the potatoes in the garlic olive oil. It's like the perfect hint of garlic. That's a lot of spinach. I think I already mentioned that I went for a beach walk today. So I went for like, I think it was like three-ish miles. So I did that. Um, I actually kind of hurt my back last week. So I've been taking it easy at the gym this week. So I haven't been going as much, specifically like lower body. I haven't really done much targeting that. But anyways, I actually signed up for a Pilates class with my friend today. And I have not been to Pilates. I mean, I did it like three years ago maybe longer than that, I don't know. Like two years ago, I think. And I remember it being really hard, so I'm like kind of scared. But anyways, I'm gonna have some super greens. I don't really wanna eat, like I'm still pretty full from breakfast, so I don't wanna have lunch before I go just because I don't like working out on a full stomach. So I'm just gonna have some of these. It's the pink lemonade flavor. They're super good. And some water, and yeah, I think I have to leave in like around half an hour. So after Pilates, I decided to make my banh mi rice bowl, which I claim that it is better than Emily Mariko's salmon rice bowl and I will stand by that. You have to try it. So I just heated up some leftover rice and added some mayo and some sriracha. And then I cooked the tofu in soy sauce and Chinese five spice. I'm obsessed with Chinese five spice. I also cooked it in the garlic olive oil from Brightland. Then I added some pickled daikon and carrots, some chopped cucumber and cilantro and mint. Let me tell you guys, this is so good. I actually have been craving this like every day since. And the pickled daikon and carrots are so good. They're super easy to make too. I just found a recipe online. It's just like apple cider vinegar or whatever. So good. Okay, so it's Friday night. James and I are going out on the town. We're going for a little date night, casual vibes only. We're going to Kairoa in San Diego, which is a New Zealand brewery slash restaurant. We've been there, how many times have we been there now? Like three? Yeah, probably. Cause we've been there for like at least two of his birthdays and then some other time. It's really nice if you're ever in San Diego, it has really good food. They have a lot of vegan options. They have a rooftop. Um, it's like really pretty. It's in University Heights, which is like a cool area. And I don't know what I'm gonna order yet, but obviously I will show you when we get there. Let's go. Top is Princess Polly Jewelry's Princess Polly. Jeans are thrifted Levi's and I'm wearing Converse because it's just very casual vibes. So of course we were at a brewery, we had to get a beer. I got like some light beer, I kind of forget what it was. And then we split two entrees. So we got this toast with like spinach artichoke dip on top, which was so good. And then we split this vegan fried chicken burger. Amazing. You guys know I live a balanced lifestyle. I don't restrict myself. I eat whatever I want. I go out to eat sometimes. And so this is what we had and it was good. And I have zero regrets. So that is it for the what I eat in a day video. We absolutely loved the dinner that we had at at Kairoa. If you're ever in San Diego, I highly suggest it. It's just a really nice place. It's really pretty on the rooftop and the food is amazing. 10 out of 10. The toast was so good. The sandwich was so good. 
Um, but yeah, that was all we had for dinner and then we just came home and went to bed. So again, thanks so much for watching and let me know if you want to see more of these videos and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!